Hi guys, welcome to The Savera. This is your health coach Jennifer and you're watching Fit with Jen. The Savera is bringing to you a brand new fitness challenge, Daily Yoga. Daily yoga is a very special challenge because almost anyone can do it. You don't need any prior expertise or training. You don't need any fancy equipment and you can do it from the convenience of your home. So what are you waiting for? Excuses are not going to work. Let's get started. Hi guys, welcome to The Savera. This is your health coach Jennifer and you're watching Fit with Jen. Fit with Jen brings to you a brand new challenge, daily yoga. Daily yoga is a very special challenge because almost anyone can do it. You don't need any fancy equipment. You don't need any prior expertise or training. And most of all, you can do it from the convenience of your home. So what are you waiting for? Let's get started with today's session. Today's session, we will primarily focus on your core exercises. But before that, we will warm up your whole body so that we are properly equipped to deal with your core. So let's get started with the warm up. Go ahead and sit on the mat with your legs extended in the front. Keep your hands behind your back for support. Let's simply start by loosening your ankles. Make sure you keep your heels fixed in one position and loosen your feet. Let them swing left and right. From here, we are going to start ankle rotation, rotating both feet in the clockwise direction. Let's go for 10 rotations. and then rotating both feet in the counterclockwise direction. From here, you open your feet just a little bit and then dip both your feet in and rotate them outwards. and change from out to in. And change. Let's go ahead and bend one knee and from here start rotating the knee. Try to make as big a circle as you can pushing it down, in and out. And then in the opposite direction, not only does it help loosen your knee, it also works your hip joint. Let's repeat on the other side, start with the counterclockwise direction. opposite direction. Make sure you pull the knee in, stretching the sides of your thighs, your abductor and your adductor muscles. And change, pulling the left knee in, simply lifting your right leg up and down, fluttering it just above the ground. Keep your quad muscle tight. And change. And change. 
extend both your feet in the front bend your knees balance on your elbows as you pull and extend your knees and change sitting up hands on your forehead near your forehead twist on each side lifting the corresponding foot change hands behind one more time let's go ahead and stretch your legs bending your left leg in pulling your right toe stretching your opposite hand in the opposite direction breathing in lifting up breathing out bringing it down change right leg straight bending the left pulling your toes in opposite hand stretched in the opposite direction breathing in lifting up breathing out stretching your side both hands on your toes twist your body forehead on the knee and change extend both your legs in the front breathe in and breathe out and change let's Pull both your knees in, holding them close to your chest and lifting the feet up so you're only balanced on the hip. And from here, feet down, join your feet together, flutter your knees up and down. Lock your elbows and push your head down towards the feet. Rock your body back and forth. Cross your legs. Right hand on the left knee. Stretching your spine. left hand on the right knee and change let's 
stretch your sides. Hold the stretch. And on the other side. keeping your hands behind your head breathe in breathe out touch your nose to the right knee breathe in breathing out touching your nose to the left knee Breathing in and touching your forehead on the ground in the front, lifting your arms up. And change. Let's do a cross arm stretch. Looking over the opposite shoulder. Make sure you keep your arm straight and pull right above the elbow. And on the other side, stretch your upper arm. Interlock your hands, stretch your shoulders. the left wrist with the right hand pulling it down repeating the same on the other side let's do some shoulder movements breathe in and out Extend your arms in the front for face pulls. And change. Let's go for simple shrugs. Lift and drop. Breathe in as you lift, breathe out as you drop. And change. Extend your arms, make fists and make circles in the opposite direction. Hands in the front. Make rotations with your wrist and in the opposite direction. Shake your hands. And change. So guys, this was our complete body warm up from the bottom to the top. I hope that all of you feel warmed up now. Let's start our core workout. Go ahead and lie down on your back. Our first movement today is the double dead bug. You will keep your legs in tabletop position and you will keep your arms straight overhead. You will extend them both back and then into the starting position. Let's 
go for the second movement today. It is your ab cycling. Keep your hands behind your head and bring your right elbow to the left knee. Extend your right leg and change. Coming up, our third movement for today is leg up crunches. Go ahead and hold your legs up at an angle of about 60 degrees. Hands up and try to crunch up, reaching for your knees. change. Finally guys, our fourth movement for today is half vipers. Keep your hands on the side, keep your legs in tabletop position and make sure you don't drop your feet, keep them lifted up. And you go left without touching the floor, you go all the way right. These were our four core movements. We are going to go ahead and repeat all these four movements, starting from the double dead bug. Now let's go ahead and do some few simple stretches. Pull your right knee in, left leg straight down. And slowly take it across your body, stretching your spine. Let's pull your left knee in. Actively pull the knee in towards the chest, stretching your glutes. And then take it across your body. Make sure you keep your other shoulder down on the ground. Let's pull both the knees in. Push the small of your back down. From here, you're going to lift your feet up into a happy baby pose. Pulling your knees down, stretching the underside of your thighs. feet down, lifting your hip up. And down. 
and from here we are going to go ahead and make the wheel so keep your hands underneath and try to lift your body up Slowly lower down. Now let's go ahead and do some few simple stretches. Pull your right knee in, left leg straight down. And slowly take it across your body, stretching your spine. Let's pull your left knee in. Actively pull the knee in towards the chest, stretching your glutes. And then take it across your body. Make sure you keep your other shoulder down on the ground. Let's pull both the knees in. Push the small of your back down. From here, you're going to lift your feet up into a happy baby pose. Pulling your knees down, stretching the underside of your thighs. feet down, lifting your hip up. And down. And from here, we're going to go ahead and make the wheel. So keep your hands underneath and try to lift your body up. Slowly lower down and relax your body into the Shavasana. Let your feet flop sideways, let your fingers curl normally. Take a deep breath in and as you breathe out, let go of complete control over your body. Completely let go and relax. Slowly shift your body weight to the left and using the, your hand, putting weight on the hand, slowly get up. So guys, this was our core session for today. Let's wrap up the session by chanting the Mahamartanje Mantra. Go ahead and repeat the words after me. Oh. Triambakam Yajamahe Sugandhin Pushti Vardhanam Urva Rukmeva Bandhana Mrityur Mokshi Mamrata. Let's rub your hands together and place them on your eyes, on your ears and on your heart. So this effectively wraps up today's session. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Stay consistent to see consistent results. Do uh, follow us on all social media and download our app to stay updated with cutting edge fitness challenges. That's it for today. Stay tuned until next time.